Hi, I'm Dr. John DeYard, and welcome to LifeSpa.com, where we prove ancient medical wisdom with modern science. And today I want to talk about Tulsi, Tulsi holy basil, different than the basil you would use in your salad. This is Tulsi, the Indian Ayurvedic herb, also called the queen of herbs, the incomparable one, the mother medicine of nature. It's a classic adaptogen, an herb that helps support stress. It's been shown in so many studies to protect the body against stress, physical stress, pollutants, chemicals. At the Taj Mahal in India, where it's got a lot of air pollution, they literally planted 10,000 Tulsi plants to actually purify the air around the Taj Mahal. And it's been well documented with studies to show that it actually does protect against chemical stress, physical stress, even protects against cold exposure. So if all of you guys are doing cold baths and cold showers, Tulsi tea or taking Tulsi would be a great way to help protect you from that. It has a couple of really cool constituents like um, eugenol and your solic acid. The eugenol seems to be responsible for the, um, the adaptogenic protective properties, but your solic acid is a very volatile chemical constituent that is oftentimes lost when you just take the leaf and you dry it. And if you just dry it, you lose a lot of those volatiles. So when you take a Tulsi tea, you're getting some of the adaptogenic benefits from the eugenol, but you're not getting the ursolic acid. And that is for the skin. That constituent is actually to support the protection against foreign microbes in your gut. It's used in cosmetics to support healthy and radiant skin. It's been used to help respiratory skin, to help support lung health. It's used to support the intestinal skin for digestive health and support a healthy microbiome, which is why like our Life Spa product, which is our Tulsi Holy Basil, it has both the actual leaf ground up, which I always love using the whole herb, but in this case, we actually did add the extract so we have that ursolic acid as part of it. Otherwise, you miss some of the really important benefits for the intestinal skin and for the microbiology. Now, Tulsi, short of like neem, has these amazing, you know, words that, that are ascribed to them, like, like uh, the village pharmacy or the incomparable one or you know, the, the, the queen of all herbs. These plants get this name because of they work at a deep, deep fundamental and most subtle level. And now we're seeing the science show that both of those herbs work on the microbiology. This Tulsi protects the intestinal skin and respiratory skin from foreign microbes to infiltrate. Plus it supports elasticity and collagen production to support the integrity of the intestinal lining to therefore support healthy skin. So as we dig into the science here at LifeSpa, we begin to learn a whole lot more about why these classic Ayurvedic herbs like Tulsi like neem, like brahmi, are all so powerful and, and have been, you know, so effective medicinally for so many thousands of years is because they work at that microbial level. So here's the Tulsi plant. You want to use the leaf and dry it. When you have your own plant, you can pick these leaves, which I do every morning. I grab, you know, five or six of these, these leaves and put them in my shake. Um, and it's a great way to just add that adaptogenic benefit. And you can grow, this grows, as you can see, it's getting ready to go to seed here, but it's ready, it's, it grows great here, uh, pretty much anywhere in America if you take care of it, and you should be in good shape. And then if you want to get the herbal formula, make sure you get one that's the whole leaf ground up so you get all the microbes. See this leaf right here? It is loaded with microbes on it. So if you take and just give the extract of that, you're only getting you're getting a sterile product, no microbial intelligence. When you eat Tulsi, you're actually getting microbes that love Tulsi. Then when you eat them, you're actually getting a diverse amount of microbes inoculating into your intestinal mucosa. And that's really what this is about. But because some of those really important oils and, and constituents disappear when you dry them, that's why we add the extract to bring those back and create a full spectrum benefit of this plant, including the microbes, which you don't get in an extracted product. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. See you next week.